Please note this video highlights a variety of features available within Follow My Health. Options may vary depending on the settings your medical organization and providers select. Let's begin with the home screen. Your health summary shows your basic information, all of which is updated from your most recent doctor's visit. Next, we have the Action Center. Think of this as your to-do list. It's where you can view items that need your attention, such as unread messages, forms you need to fill out, or unpaid bills. It's also where you'll be notified if there are updated items in your health record. The App Center is where you access online tools such as your health journal, wireless scale, or glucose monitor. It's also where you can find customized charts detailing your health. To add new applications, simply click on the button in the top right corner that says Add Apps. Moving over to the top right side of the screen, you'll see Appointments. This is where you can view upcoming or past appointments. Click the plus sign to take further action such as rescheduling, canceling, or even getting directions to your appointment. If your medical organization is set up for billing through Follow My Health, the billing section is where you'll be able to view and pay bills. Click on the Make a Payment button to see your billing in more depth. Now that we've covered what's in the Home tab, let's move on to the Inbox. This is similar to any email system you've already used. Within the Inbox, Sent, or Trash folders, simply click on a message to open it. Click on the plus symbol and your message will open in an adjustable window for easier viewing. The next tab, My Health, contains your medical information, including conditions, allergies, test results, and medications. Within each section, you can see detailed information and perform various tasks. For example, under Medications, you can quickly and easily request a prescription refill right here if one is available. On the final tab, My Info, you'll find your personal information and insurance listed under Demographics, as well as a list of your available providers. All services provided by your physician are listed here. Please note, a provider's organization must be connected to Follow My Health in order for you to see them in your account. Lastly, let's take a look at the top of your screen, right above the tabs. Here we've placed quick links for two of the most commonly performed tasks, messaging and scheduling appointments. Quick links let you perform the task without leaving the page you're on. For example, if you're viewing lab results, you can click on Message and a new window will pop up. Under Hello Mark, you'll see proxy accounts if you have them set up for children or dependents. Finally, under My Account, you'll see a number of options in the drop-down menu. Here's where you can connect to new organizations, set your preferences, view help topics, and perform a number of additional administrative functions. Wow, in less than three minutes, you've learned the basics of Follow My Health and are ready to start managing your care. But don't worry, if you need additional help, you can always access the Patient User Guide or search our Knowledge Base, located under Support.